guys, this is another hacker rank problem called balanced brackets. Bracket is considered to be any one of the following characters. So there are three kinds of brackets. Two brackets are considered to be a matched pair if an opening bracket occurs to the left and a closing bracket to the of the exact same type. There are three types of matched brackets. Three types of matched brackets. A matching pair of brackets is not balanced if the set of brackets it is closed are not matched. For example, is not a balanced uh, brackets because the, because of the content uh, in between these brackets are not balanced. The pair of square brackets enclose a single unbalanced opening bracket. Uh, this one and the pair of parentheses enclose a single unbalanced closing square bracket. By this logic, we say a sequence of brackets is balanced if the following conditions are made. It contains no unmatched brackets. The subset of brackets enclosed within the confines of a matched pair of brackets is also a matched pair of brackets. Okay, so guys, like this is some input example. This is the matched brackets. We output yes. This is no, so we output no. This is also yes. We output yes. So guys, basically giving a three kind of uh, brackets and a string, we need to check if for any type of brackets are there any uh, are there any matched? They are uh, are they matched or not? Like giving any type of opening brackets of these three types, are there any closing brackets, corresponding closing brackets that matching the opening uh, brackets of the string? So yeah, we could use a step to do that. So let me do that. We initialize the stack right here, and the element of the stack stores is character. So we just uh, can define a stack right here, and then we loop over the string. Actually, this is a pretty straightforward problem. I think uh, if you practice the algorithm or data structure for some time, you should be able to work this out. So here we need to check. Let's get each character of string, and then we check if they are if C is any kind of opening brackets, either parentheses or square brackets, or this kind of brackets, we just push it into the stack. If there are any of closing brackets, then we need to check. If current now, the stack is empty. So if we push, if the stack is empty, and if we are encountering any closing brackets right now, so we know it's not a matched brackets. And after that, we need to get the top character of the current stack peak. We need to check if C equal to closing parentheses brackets. And we need to check if the, the topmost character in stack that is opening parentheses, then we know we found a match bracket and we just pop it from the stack. Otherwise, if on top of the stack is not an opening bracket, is an opening parenthesis, we know we can we know we found a mismatched bracket. We just output no. And we doing the same thing to the square brackets. If on top of the stack is opening brackets we just pop it out we found a matched one otherwise we return no else for the brackets like this we need to check if on top of the character let me just do this c equal to close brackets like this if on top of the stack we found the opening brackets like this, 
we just、uh, pop it out. Otherwise, we found a mismatched one. We return no, and we keep doing the same thing for all possible、uh, character until the end of the string s. And finally, we need to check if the stack is empty or not. If the stack is empty, means that、uh, all the brackets are matched. We output yes. Otherwise, we output no. That should be the answer. Let me run code. Should be double equal. Let me run code here. That was the submit. So guys, the idea is simple. We have a stack, and when we loop over the string, for any opening brackets, we push it to the stack. But if we are encountering any closing brackets, we need to check if the stack is empty or not. If the stack is not empty, then we need to check if the top if the top character of the stack is matched with the With the closing, with the closing brackets, we are in、uh, in counting. If they match, we pop out the topmost character on the stack. Otherwise, we just up and no. And until we loop over all the characters in the string, and then we need to check if the stack is empty. Then we know the whole string is matched. Otherwise, up up and no. Let me know if you have a better solution. Thank you.